Full disclosure, this was freaking awesome. And what I did is I recorded all this content for you guys so you could see me talking to Grant, his team, and being able to learn from them. Because this is a company doing 120, 150, a couple hundred million dollars per year, controls over $1.2 billion in real estate. So, you know, I'm doing multiple seven figures. I'm looking to learn from the guys that are doing multiple eight and beyond, nine figures, right? So sneak peek of me being able to talk to them and just, I want you guys to listen to the questions that I'm asking and the responses that the team's giving me. Let, listen to what we're talking about here. Let's, let's look at it right now. Jared, appreciate it. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I got you, brother. All right, this is a little bit more technical question because I run ads right now. I spend a decent amount on YouTube. I spend a decent amount on Facebook. I have a channel. I've got, you know, a decent amount of YouTube subscribers and I do a little bit of retargeting from my channel viewers and my subscribers and I run completely cold ads to an online sales process in hopes of converting a higher ticket webinar offer. Then I upsell on the back end, downsell, have continuity products and all that. My question is, and I don't know if you know this side of things there um, in the company, but I know you guys do a lot of retargeting because I, I get all of the retargeting ads, whether it's from YouTube, Facebook, et cetera. I just wanna know like off the top of your head, do you know percentage wise, what kind of, like what kind of percentage you guys are spending on the back end? Like if you're spending 80% of your budget on retargeting, 20% up front, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's probably, uh... It's probably 60, 40. 60 being retargeting? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I guess my- Different audiences. We, you, you, to, to, to scale something on the front end to cold audiences, like yeah. you, have to under, you have to understand uh, how to set up a sales system that is profitable and that makes money because in most cases you're losing money acquiring the customer on the front end. Sure. And, and without understanding lifetime value of the customer- Absolutely. Or, or understanding, uh, you know, what your cart value is going to be with somebody checking out through a funnel. Um, the the cold the cold traffic is something that you can run down a rabbit hole after. Absolutely, um, and it depends on the product too. Like, yeah. you know, some offers can scale to a cold audience and some can't. Sure. Uh, sure. You know, like events, we found it. It's just really it really difficult to scale uh, events to a cold audience and subscription to a cold audience. Sure. Uh, I, I appreciate our, that. It could just be our offer, you know? What I'm, what I'm doing right now is like, I have a webinar offer and I teach how to use Instagram to get more leads, to be able to network, to be able to pull deals, whether you are a realtor or you're a, a chiropractor or you're just trying to get an online income going. But my, my webinar running on a cold audience, I do spend about $2,000 a day just on YouTube and I'm doing about 130 to 140% ROI on cold mm -hmm. right there on the front end. But yes, awesome. I have not built out because this is in the last two months after working on this for 15 months, I've now gotten it profitable and I've got a phenomenal team. So it's not just me, but now after 60 days of, we had some success before, but now it's working. And so yeah. now it's 5K upsells, 25K upsells in the grand scheme of six months from now, what is that customer worth? So if we're doing 130, uh, I'm just, I look at the way you guys retarget because I see what you throw towards like myself, three, four, six months down the line. And if I'm going through those and, and, and taking a bite, I can definitely see where in the grand scheme of things, the retargeting is 300, 400% potentially. And if more. you have, and if you have uh, multiple offers and, and when we get into product offers, which will be later in the, in the, in the deal and in inventory, uh, the more offers you have, I mean, you know, we're creating new buckets of audiences all the time and we're creating sure. customized messages for sometimes, you know, micro audiences, really small audiences where we can create a customized hyper customized piece of front end creative that speaks to a very specific person mm -hmm. uh, it, because we have a product for it and we have the team to build the ad sets for it. One of the guys that's that's speaking at the conference um, at the 10X Growth Fund, Brad Parscale, uh, he it ran all of the media for the Trump campaign. Okay. And he was creating 60,000 ad sets a day. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Right. 
He said he said that he was targeting uh he was targeting rural areas where there were literally like 25 potential voters in the area mm -hmm. and he was creating audiences down to that small wow That's... so i'm super excited to have him talk this isn't a political thing this is about somebody who is involved with massive amounts of ad spend online and understanding influence and customer behavior and um and so i'm super excited everybody should be super interested in hearing what this guy says because they're going to spend 900 million dollars this year uh on the re-election campaign so it's 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 just bonkers that's crazy um, jared i appreciate your time on that thank you very much you got it brother hey congratulations to you on on that because that's that's not easy to do i know it takes a lot of time to get those things dialed in so good i've spent you. i've spent 100k in the last four months not you know who knows what I was going to get back, right? Yeah. No. But I have full faith in it, and I work 15, 18 hours a day, every day. I don't have a life outside of this, but this is, it, it will pay off. There's no doubt about you're, it. You're working, you're working to get a life right now. That's I'm just I'm getting doing. started, man. Yeah, let's go. All right, Appreciate brother. Appreciate it. Yeah, be great. So what to take away here is, did you hear how Jared talked about LTV, understanding the lifetime value of the customer? That's extremely important because when you're building an online business, it's not just the initial sale. You have to look at first, what does it cost you when you're running ads, when you're advertising, what does it cost you to acquire a customer? And is the product or service that they're initially buying on the front end worth more than what it actually costs you to acquire that customer? See, the goal is when you're running cold traffic, you wanna acquire customers at a profit. So you heard me say earlier to Jared that, you know, I'd spent 15 months trying to perfect this process and it's by no means perfected now, but industry standard with what I do is to do about 120% ROI on the front end, spend a thousand, make 1200 back, go back, do it again. I'm doing 130s, 140s, but it's my upsells and downsells that I'm building out that six months down the line allows me to look back and go, okay, well that customer that was initially worth 130% to me is now worth 300 or 400%. So LTV in business, especially when you're advertising, okay? At some point, you've gotta be able to scale cold because you can only build your audience so fast. So at some point, you gotta go out there and you gotta be able to take completely cold people, bring them in, convert X amount at a profit, acquire customers at a profit, and increase the LTV. That's what Jared was talking to me about there, and that's what I want you guys, as just one of the key takeaways from this video to be able to learn. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me at Ben Oberg on Instagram if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.